and hopefully in turn allow you to live a longer, healthier life as long as God has you here on earth. Now, what we're going to talk today is a, a study of two, a study of me and my wife today as far as what happening was happening with our blood sugars uh, over the last 10 days or so. And there's some interesting things I think you're going to find uh, that maybe you can apply to yourself. But I don't want you to walk away here thinking that exactly what happens to our body is going to happen to yours because that's not the way it works. You know, each of our bodies are a little bit different and uh, your body is different from mine. And it just so happened to me today's blood sugars are almost identical as we check them throughout the days. So uh, one of the things that also that, that is interesting that people find is uh, sleep. Uh, you know, uh, how uh, your blood sugar is affecting your sleep, either in a, in a positive or a negative way. Now, you may be thinking, I don't have diabetes. Uh, I don't have uh, this hyperinsulinemia. Well, one, you don't know until you test. You know, you have you had your insulin level checked? That's something I check on a lot of uh, almost all my patients just to see what their levels are. Ideally, you want it less than five. Uh, normal range is from like five to uh, 20, depending on the lab. Anything higher than that is not good. 